welcome back to Five Vibes. And today, I am going to be showing you some, um, some knives. As you can see, here's some knives on the bed. Pretty cool. So now it's time to introduce my assistant. Come on, assistant. Hi, my name is Channing. This is my brother Channing. And, um, you could just call him Scootsy. And he is here to be my assistant. Okay, so, assistant... Um, you are going to help me. What? So, when I when I say pass a knife to me, you pass me a knife, okay? Uh -huh. So, um, the first knife is called the Steampunk Sword. Well, I named it that. So, Chan, can you go get that little knife right there? Huh. Thank you. So, here's the Steampunk Sword. It's not very big, of course. I mean, it could fit my hand. Let's see, it could fit in... Sorry about this. Can fit in my hand. Pretty nice. So, here you go. Steampunk sword. Pretty nice. It opens up. It has a clip back here. Um, pretty nice. Can do that. And um, if you look here, it has this little bar right there. If you push it down, then it releases the blade. You can bring it back down. So that's pretty nice. Okay, this knife I call my junk knife. Hand me that little green one right there, Chad. Thanks. This is called my junk knife. And the reason I call it my junk knife is because it's really hard to open and close. So, see? It's actually pretty easy to open. It's real hard to close. See, it locks back real, real tight. And look, it has this little knob here. Where you have to push it down. And then, but it's just not... Well, that's so much easier than I thought it was. But... That's why I call it junk knife. I barely ever use it. So, um, also stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll be showing you the mystery knife. Okay, Chan. This one is called the Tennessee Slicer. Hand me that little brown one right there. All right, thank you, assistant. So, it's called the Tennessee Slicer. So, see, I got it in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And it actually has my name on it. So, um has a lot of cool stuff in it. I mean, it's a multi-purpose knife. So it has the bottle cap opener. I think that's another bottle cap opener. It's another bottle cap opener. There's some scissors. Um, I think that's an actual knife in there. And um, what else is there? So this little thing. I'm not actually sure what this does. Um, and then there's also the screwdriver. Right, I thought, I think there's a little oh, bottle yeah. cap opener. That, that's what I was talking about. Another bottle pop up opener. There's this thing. I don't know what that is. I think it's like a hole puncher. There's a nail filer. And what's that last thing in there? I don't know what that is, but I think it's just a small knife. So, that's all that's in this Tennessee slicer. It also has a keychain on it. Pretty nice. Okay, assistant. Hand me that one right there. I call this one Megatron. Megatron's pretty cool. So, it has a knife in there. Um, it has, actually has a lock, a little, a little lock right there. See if you slide that to the side, it will lock. And then... Um, See, it has this little bar in there where if you push it to the side and then you can push the knife back down. Um, there's a little screwdriver in there, right there. But here's the amazing part. This, that looks like all of it. But why are these gears down here? You know why? Because look at this. It's also pliers. Oh, it also has a little wire cutter right there. And... A bottle cap opener right there. So, pretty cool. Oh, and then it has a clip here. And then if you take out this little thing right here, if you don't want to use it like that, then you take this. Um, and then it actually has two sides with the, it has the, these two sides. And then if you put it in here, it's actually a little magnet in there. 
and this is how you screw it like that. Then you take this out, put it back, put it back where it belongs. Pretty nice. Okay, all right, partner. Hand me that little orange one right there. This one I call cobalt. Cobalt is pretty cool. See, it has this little um, keychain, and then um, nail filer, screwdriver, Sizz there's scissors and a knife. Just the knife and the scissors. Pretty nice. This thing. Close that. Pretty nice. All right, assistant. Hand me that little black one right there, Chan. Assistant, hand me that black one. Thanks. All right. So assistant gave me this one. I call this one Steampunk Sword 2.0. The reason is because it kind of looks steampunk sort of thing. Same thing with the regular steampunk sword. Steampunk. Check this out. Do this. So it has the serrated blade and then the actual blade. And then if you pull it back, it still has a bar lock in there. Pretty nice. It has a clip. There's a clip right here. Pretty nice. Okay, assistant. And we right actually there. have sour gum to show you that. All right, hand me that, that Gerber right there. Thanks. Uh, so, here we go. Another one knife, okay. So as you can see, it's a big pliers. And it has some cool stuff in here and here. But I don't want to show you all that because it's really hard to get out and it might hurt to take them out. I mean, not kidding. It's pretty nice. And it has this little case right here. Put it straight in there, close it up, and you can actually put it on your belts. Like right there. Okay, so. Dip, 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 dip. Sorry. Okay, sorry. It's my assistant. There you go. So see? Here is um, another knife. My dad actually made this case, and I think this is the first knife I ever I ever held, I think. But check it out. It's pretty cool. A Swiss Army knife has a screwdriver in it. Um, what else does it have in here? It has this thing? I think that's a hole puncher. It has a little tiny keychain. It's kind of like the Tennessee slicer. Mark, this is do you the, want the some knife. Gum? There's a tiny knife. Why do you want some gum? Big knife. Why do you want some gum? Not now, Channing. Okay. And then there's this. Some pliers, and then there's a screwdriver slash bottle cap opener. Um, here's another screwdriver slash bottle cap opener. That's it. I think I call this the um, the multi-purpose Swiss. Oh, careful, Chan. Okay. Now, this oh, one, dude, I call, sorry, I call this one, oh, Shannon, careful. I call this one, Mega Man, dun, 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 dun. so Mega Man has a clip right there, has a lock right there, so it's huge, it's a huge knife, I mean, this is like my biggest knife I own, I'm not kidding, look how big that is, wow, it's huge, it has a little serrated thing. Um, and then if you look in there, it's a locking, it's a bar lock. And actually, you have to push this thing to the side and do it. It's part of the locking blade. Pretty nice. Pretty big. Pretty cool. You know, look at this. Pretty nice. Pretty big. Pretty cool. All right, I think that's all of them. No. All right. Now it's time for the mystery knife. Okay. Okay, assistant. I need your help. Come down. Help me out with this. So see? See the, the box? Let's lift the lid together. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I call this one the dragon's claw. It's pretty nice. And watch this. Ready? Pretty sweet. 
And look at that blade, it's like rainbow. And then if you uh, see, it's the little sign there. Pretty nice, honey. And I'm five, and then so basically, I'm Okay, so if you look, it's a little bar lock right there. Whoa! Sorry about that. Sorry, YouTube. So, check that out. Bring it back. It's pretty nice. All right, I think that's the last knife I have to show you. It's exactly ten knives. I mean, it's a big collection. Well, um, it's really sad because it's the end of the um, video, but... If you, um, if you put in the comments, if you want to see me do a video about like Fortnite, or I mean Fortnite, Fortnite, and if you want to do a video about Fortnite, that's fine. Just put it in the comments and, um, I'll do it for you, okay? Pretty sweet, and I got my Nintendo Switch right here. Pretty nice. Got my headset right there too. So I'll do that for you in the next video. All right, Chan, let's say it together. So, ah. bye. Bye. And and have some nice five vibes today. And then, bye. Bye.